Hello. Hello. <laughs> you got me there. I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> it's club cacophony in the living room. <laughs> and for all those things we don't like, let's face it, in this crisis there's a lot not to like. It wasn't in our name, was it, Sue? Not in my name. And I know Jules asked us for this one, so here's Jules. It's for you as well tonight, and everyone else out there, of course. Jules. talking about this time? I think um, we were saying drugs. Drugs? Drugs. Drugs? Tea, Tea. coffee. It's all drugs. The doctors and the hospitals give out as many drugs. Muggies. That's the pushers, don't they? I remember mum loved her muggies. Come 
Copenhagen Girls on the street, roaches with their feet Needles in the water, veins in the sewer Noses are snorting, the lambs are dead and crawling It's a I felt that. <laughs> do you remember that day in Vienna Yeah, I yeah. do actually remember this one. At the family grave. Very special, very special. We met for the first time. My great aunt Elzika, that's Elizabeth in Hungarian. She's a Viennese citizen, Austrian citizen. And she took us to the family grave where eight of our relatives, my relatives had died in the Holocaust and let out a wail. But one thing I learned was Aunt Ezzy, she showed me her number, survived Auschwitz. She was a very happy and joyful person. It's amazing. So when we wrote this song, we put it to swing, because even though it's dark, it's a song of happiness too.
incredible woman that she was. We talked about my great aunt Erzika in the song Edward, a special day we spent together in Vienna. And that very memorable day, the first day that I met Erzika, we went to the family synagogue, the Freisingers, where she lay stones on the eight members of our family who were victims of the Holocaust. And as she laid the stones, she let out a wail. It was ear piercing, eerie, and strangely beautiful. So I wrote this flute tune, Erge's Lament, to commemorate that day and Erge's scream from the heart. I played it all over the world and I was always sad that maybe this particular tune wouldn't communicate with people because it was obviously quite sad and moving. But I was amazed, it was absolutely the opposite. People would come up crying and say, at last I can grieve. You've made me feel so happy, often in floods of tears. So I learned then that actually expression, tragedy and sadness can lead to relief and happiness for people who are suffering. So another lesson that my great aunt taught me. Yeah, hope you enjoy Erge's Lament. Thank you very much.
great auntie as you come. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say that is my favourite of all Phil's self-composed tunes. Wonderful, I love it. Thank you very much. I love the way you sang Edward too. Thank you. To Auntie Ezica this time. <laughs>